Hi, this is Megan Chapman, and this is the Tuesday Studio Video Visit. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you all enjoyed last week's uh, Tuesday Studio Video Visit. I think I posted it on a Wednesday, and my face wasn't included. Uh, it was mostly just books and shadows and light. So if you missed it last week, uh, you can check it out. And if you're just joining me this week, brilliant. So as many of you know, each week I come to you on Tuesdays to show you what I've been up to, talk to you about some of my ideas around my work, and um, just explore some things together. So I've just cleaned off my work table. Normally I've got paper on here so that I can paint and, and um, you know, have my palette basically on this table. Um, so I've just taken that off and I've just put in, just put in, I just put my work out. Um, all of these pieces have been varnished, so all of these pieces are suitable for, you know, touching. Um, like charcoal, if there's charcoal, it's not going to smear, get on your hands, um, pencil, uh, oil pastel, and the like. So I th these are all the pieces that are completed so far for this weekend's book market um, as part of Art Walk Porty. So um, this is what I've been sort of working on. As many of you know, it's a sort of special project of mine. Uh, 20 years ago, this last June, I graduated from the University of Oregon's art department um, with my BFA with honors in painting. And the way I graduated, my BFA terminal project was books and the, uh, you know, like many art schools, you have a terminal exhibition and my terminal exhibition was just called books. Um, and I painted inside free bin found hardback books. Let's say the word more books. So I was getting thinking about that and like how it had been 20 years and what it was like to complete that project at 27 versus what it's like to complete the project at 47. Would my books be different? Would they be similar? Would they be sort of almost um, repetitive? Would, would I be um, riffing off the old books from memory? Um, sadly, I don't have my old books here with me in Scotland. Uh, the majority of them are still in storage uh, back in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So, um, so anyway, so here's here's a survey. We're surveying the scene. I don't know the size of the table that I will have access to on Saturday and Sunday as part of the Art Walk Porty, um, but I just wanted to put them all out and kind of have a look at them. Um, some of them, so like this here is a book that's been folded over and taped shut, and then this is this is your reading material. So this is what you take home and read. And see on the back, it's just washed with, with like a milky white. So the words are not obscured, but, but it's definitely not part of the project. And there's a tear in the center exposing a word or two. Um, and yeah, it's just it's a substrate for an abstract painting, but using a material that we all know and love, a book. Um, so, and then again, this piece here, I remembered there are parts of the words showing she can say all she wants I said it's interesting that's what it is interesting and then on the other side on chapter 17 it says I remembered so again this has been blocked out with white this is just plain it's been taped shut and then this abstract painting on it so you could prop this in your bookshelf you could put it in a frame what I want you to do if you come and see me as part of Artwork Porty on Saturday and Sundays, I want you to pick it up, and I want you to hold it and hold it and read it, read read the read the art. Um, here's a new one on the back of a book. It's got a ooh a mystery painting, but that's not the real painting. The painting here is this pocket where the little checkout receipt thing would have gone. Um, yeah, it's very dark red. I like it. Um. This book here has been tied closed, and this just one whoosh of paint, but the spine all damaged, the paper folding apart. I like that element of it. 
So for me, it's it's just an interesting um, re, re, you know to revisit this this project. Just on a book spine. All of these are signed and dated. Um, here's a particularly grubby one from yesterday. I kind of liked that. And that's on the, you know, that's been ripped off a book. And it's been folded. So 20 years ago in my book project, a lot of the books I would even, because I was living in Oregon where it rains all the time, very similar to Scotland, um, I would throw them in mud puddles, I'd stomp on them, and I'd kick them around in dirty fields. Um, here's a little abstract here, again, on the back of a book. It's very minimalist. This is even closed. You could still read the book if you wanted to. And I've left, you know, the pound 50 marking because it came from a charity shop. Um, this one actually has a few words. The sea whispered go back. Acrylic and oil pastel. I just love that torn bit and the spine. So you could imagine framing these. You could imagine doing whatever you want to with these. They're to be touched and read and felt. Almost think of them, you could think of them as maybe like a like a rune stone <laughs> or a personal message. And, and maybe you've got the, the language, the visual language to read the message. Or maybe it's just purely visual. See, I wouldn't dare put paint on that gorgeous, messed up spine. Someone seems to be marking the days here. Is it you? So, um, and then some of them have some humor. This is, again, we've talked about this book before. It's The Revelation of Childbirth by Grant Dick, Grant Lee Dick Reed. And here's, his, here's the book, Revelation of Childbirth. Hmm. Make of it what you will. So that's where we are. These are the books. And I still have a pile of materials. I think I'm going to make some more um, in physical books just because it is a book market and I'm of course uh, exploring those parameters of what is a book. This is the hard back bit of a book, but it feels to me perhaps there should be a few more whole books in the process because right now it looks like I'm just decimating books, which I am, but I'm giving them new life because most of these books are, you know, those cast off charity shop books and so in this way they're being r r opened you know which I imagine imagine a book what does it want it wants to be opened so these books are being opened again they're being handled again um, and they're 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 singing a new song they've been given new words new meaning they've been reformatted or upcycled or whatever word you want to use for it um, they're still telling you a story if you're open to receiving it. So that's what I've got to you, got for you this Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining me in the Tuesday Studio Video Visit. Wherever you are, I hope you're well, happy, and inspired. If you are local to Edinburgh, please join us this Saturday and um, Sunday in Portobello as part of the Porty Art Walk. I'll give you a link uh, in here so you know exactly the wins and wares and and all of that but it's open to the public and again I love talking to you on this wonderful format I love sharing my work and photographs and everything else but what I really want to do is I want to have a chat with you um, I want to see your face I want to say hi I want you to pick up one of my books because until you do you are only experiencing it somewhat so put that in your pipe and smoke it Okay, see you next week. Thank you. Bye.